Alright, good morning everyone. Welcome back. Um, just a couple things before we get started. As always, drop your tickers of interest. Things you have questions about. Drop them in your respective chats, whether you're on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are. Um, a couple quick things. You know, if you uh, a lot of you guys, which I respect and appreciate, a lot of you guys like to talk quote-unquote real stocks. Um, I did just do a blog post uh, yesterday talking about kind of like the top six real stocks I'm watching going into May. Um, you know, again, I know most of the time here we're talking about, you know, sketchy scam X pieces of crap like DPW. But that being said, you can go to stocksatrade.com slash blog. And, you know, if you're more interested in those swing trades and those, you know, quote unquote real stocks, Versus the sketchy stuff. All right. That being said, my number one as of now, um, now again, lock and change, but DPW, you know, this is a former runner. Um, what I like to see is, you know, exactly this. I mean, and this stock is ran, I mean, going back to the very beginnings of the Bitcoin run in 2017. And you can see even this year, I mean, well, year to date, um, you know, back in June, put in a big move. Big move in July, huge move in November, pretty good move here back in February. So that's what we look for. History of running, um, good volume, some BS earnings news. Ultimately, it's a Scamex stock. So um, basically, remember, similar situation that we talk about with every pumped up piece of crap Scamex stock, dip and rip, okay? Ideally, it tracks sideways in pre-market, chat pump comes in, opens weak, and then reclaims the high of the day, 9.45 or later. So, um, DPW, classic Scamex dip and rip idea. Um, I just saw Clove hit the high. Clove is kind of that back burner squeeze idea. Um... Still watching a 10 break on Clove. Keep in mind, Clove, the only reason I bring it up is I'm always watching the high a day list. And, you know, you, well, unless this is your first day, you know why I care about Clove. Still got an alert at 10. Back burner squeeze idea. So, again, you should all know the why behind Clove. Probably most of you are sick of me talking about it. Uh, Brent Haywood says GM earnings winner. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's 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 GM, it's government motors. Um, if you want to get absolutely bored to death, I you could trade GM today, but I just, I mean, 1.5 billion float, 80 billion market cap, you know. So now I will say this. As much as I mock, remember, I grew up in Michigan. Um, I, I I have family that it, that it, you know my dad worked for a, a General Motors supplier, Federal Mogul. You know I grew up blue collar. My uncle worked at GM. I had several uncles work at GM. Um, cousins, my brother, you know. So, but GM. I don't care. They ever since 1980, and I've ranted on this. Look up uh, Roger Smith. Roger Smith destroyed the idea of General Motors, and then in 2008, when they declared bankruptcy, they're they're on my hated list. So um, they have done. I think I think GM has has done more to destroy the economy of Michigan and specifically Detroit than any other outside force. I mean, anyway, I'll save that rant for another day. And a lot of you have heard the rant before. <laughs> anyway, if you want to get bored by it, I, I will say this. Considering the microprocessor shortage, it actually is impressive they had good numbers. Because a lot of you guys know with the, with the chip shortage, I'm surprised they had good numbers. They probably cooked the books. You know, I mean, that's, that's probably how they did it. They probably cooked the books and are like, Hey, we're still making money, even though we can't ship any cars because we got no microprocessor. Anyway, E F E M I. Sorry for the rant. 
Um, I got no match on F E M O oh, F A M I. F A M I. Um, ooh. Man, I don't know. Not my style, okay? So here's the thing on Fami. This was that huge gap down. It ground back for three days. Gap down again. Just not my style. Do what you want. Um, there's a lot of people that like to trade these bounces. But for me, these sketch bounces are black. Do what you want. I just don't see an edge. You know, because all in my opinion with Fami, your only hope is so keep in mind, like like stuff like DPW or or any of these low float mania stocks. We're just trading madness, you know, animal spirits, emotion. Okay. But at the end of the day, people see these these stocks that are at 52 week highs, they're breaking out. They're at all-time highs. They're trading crazy volume. They're in a hot sector. They get excited. In my opinion, your, your, your hope, which we all know hope is not a strategy, your hope is just you got a bunch of bag holders buying family. Because who's buying family? Who? In my opinion, it's just people that got bagged. You know. So all, your only hope is you get these people adding to a loser. And I want to, I want to be on the other side. You know, I want to be, I want to be buying stocks when everybody's losing their mind, fired up, so excited, blue sky ahead. I don't want to be hanging with a bunch of loser bag holders that are just, that are making the cardinal mistake. You know, what's the cardinal mistake? Winners hold winners, losers hold losers. So the only people still in family are a bunch of freaking losers. So enjoy it. It's like hanging out. It's like hanging out at the <laughs> that that might get me in trouble. I was I was gonna make fun of like it, it's like it's like to me, Fammy, it's like the 30-year-old dude hanging out at the high school party. Okay? There's Fammy. Fammy is 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 Matthew McConaughey from Dazed and Confused, which he bad example. Matthew McConaughey from Daisy Confused was handsome bastard and a great character. So, not, but you get my point. Fammy is some 30-year-old dude hanging out at a high school party. Not Matthew McConaughey, though. Uh, BLRX, look for this over last night's highs. This is straight out of the ebook. This is probably be my number two watch. BLRX, set alert over last night's highs. Um... Straight out of the ebook. Uh, BPSR had news. Uh, you know, remember what's the plan on OTCs? You guys know the plan on OC OTCs trade breakouts, ignore sideways. So, BPSR, sketch OTC. Who cares about the news? Trade breakouts. Um, RKT earnings after close. Well, wait for earnings. Roderick asks about IBIO. Another Scamex stock. So again, remember the hottest sector has been these sketchy Scamex stocks. Um, hundred percent of dip and rip over pre market highs. Um, higher float. That's my my biggest concern with IBIO is stick to your stop. Higher, it's a higher float stock. So higher float dip and rip. Stick to your plan. Remember, higher the float, lower the odds on the dip and rip. Keep in mind, a critical component of that of that dip and rip setup is low float. So limited supply of shorts. They all pile in, and then we look to smoke them. So, I don't hate IBIO. Your odds just aren't as good. Uh, PRPO for a red to green. Ooh, man, I don't know. Let me take a look. I don't. PRPO is probably dead. Um, 
Yeah, um, no. So sorry, Frank. You know, it's... And let me finish on this. So what we want to see on a momentum red to green... So let's say PRPO, you know, PRPO was yesterday's, well, last two days, big runner. What we want to see, though, is this thing kind of hang around near the highs. You know, again, this is a short squeeze setup. And considering PRPO just ate dirt all day, okay? I mean, this thing got destroyed. Shorts are happy, okay? So you got you got happy little shorts here. Now I'm still going to make them look like a demon because all short sellers are demons. Those are his demon wings. So anyway, all short sellers are demons from hell, but they're happy. I tried to draw a little smiley face because, I mean, the stock faded all day, closed on the low of the day. What we want is... <laughs> Okay, we want the demon shorts sweaty. Okay, those are those are sweat drops, all right? And then let me give them a frowny. So we want them nervous, like the white line, okay? Then you get that weak open and then reclaim, and you get the short panic. Does that, that make sense to you guys? You see what I'm saying? To, at the end of the day, PRPO shorts were licking their chops yesterday, and then the stock gaps down this morning. So I don't see any panic coming in on a red to green. Does that make sense, everyone? You know? So um, that being said, you know, I usually don't have time to get into these concepts or draw demons. L let me know what you think of the demons. I, I think I need to work on it. But um, as always, the cool thing about the Steady Trade team is I can spend a lot more time than... 13 minutes talking about these concepts. So check out the Steady Trade team. Have a great day. And again, in summary, I would say DPW, um, BLRX is interesting. Um, and it, it Clove, if it can do something. But at right now, it's obviously early. I'd probably still stick with DPW as my number one, though it is a little higher float. And so, so as always, you can always wait till afternoon. You don't have to trade in the morning. I will say this. There's no, there's nothing out there today that is like screaming at me like, oh my gosh, this is an amazing morning setup. Defense wins championships. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.